Hit it backyard, I see. All right, guys. What I wanted to show you was uh, my track's going to have all wood jumps. There is two little small dirt features out there. But for me to run the roller over the track with jumps uh, and the aerator, it pretty much destroys them. Uh, plus, the cool thing about wood jumps is I can move them around on the fly, change the layout, makes things easier for me. I have a small storage area that I can put them in. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have ever made skateboard jumps back in the day, but the process is very similar. You just cut out two templates for each side, run stringers across, and then put your material up top to follow the direction of your templates, your side templates. What's even better for me is because it's only RC cars, not people, uh, I can use this fiberglass sheathing you can get. You can get this in 4x8 sheets over at the home improvement stores, fairly cheap. And you just press, pretty much bend it and flex it how you want, screw it all down across the stringers. So I'm going to make one of these and I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures and take you along for the ride. All right, now that we have a pair of bookends here, uh, we'll start running the stringers across and uh, start building this ramp. Stand by. All right, guys, one of the steps that I missed was to show you how to attach your stringers to your side plates. It's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, the only trick is to make sure that the top of the stringer is flush with the top surface of your side piece. That way, when you go to skin it, everything's flat and flush. Um, I use cut down 2x4s. You don't have to go crazy with the stringer piece because it's RC cars running over this, not people. Uh, the lighter you can make the jump, the easier they are to move around, which is good. I pre drilled a hole after I had this held up flush, so it makes it way easier to put together. Really easy. Make sure you use a exterior screw so it doesn't rot or rust inside of the, uh, inside of the wood. And have at it, man. Put your pieces together, line up your hole. Put on your other side plate. Um, I spaced my stringers about 10 inches apart, which worked great for me. You can experiment with that and see what works for you. So there you go. Here's the basic skeleton frame of a ramp. We'll sheathe that. And I've been putting AstroTurf over top of these. Stand by. All right, guys. Uh, another thing I need to mention is that all the old jumps from the old track are destroyed. I had to throw them away. That makes me sad because uh, I like them. And making stuff out of wood right now is very expensive. I could not afford to use pressure treated lumber on these jumps. If you can, please buy exterior grade lumber and build your jumps out of that. Uh, again, I couldn't do it. I did find a can of this water seal. It was a mist tint. I think I paid five bucks for it, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna, anything that's wood on these jumps is getting two or three coats of this stuff. Hopefully that works out. I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I do have storage for my jumps this year. So when I'm done with the jumps at the end of the day, they get put away and covered up so that should also help but I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on how this stuff worked i suggest you do this if you're going to use this all right next step all right as you can see i cut the uh, the laminate down to size and uh what we'll do is we'll just screw it down right over top of that it's pretty much a buck you know and it'll form the uh, contours of the ramp stand by all right so there you can see this stuff forms Excellent over top of this buck. Uh, there's a nice, you know, it's straight here, and then there's a kick up. Cars should jump pretty good over those. We'll get some carpet on top of this and uh, keep moving on. So, there you go, guys. With the exception of the entry and exit ramps for the deck, all the other jumps were made in similar fashion. They got painted with that watertight sealant and covered with AstroTurf. I'm pretty confident that these ramps will hold up a lot better than the last ones, and obviously, that fiberglass top deck will last forever. So being a bit vintage and old school myself, I honestly do prefer dirt jumps, but it makes track maintenance pretty much impossible for me. I found that out at the last location. This is a great alternative, and it also allows me to move the jumps around from time to time when I get bored of the layout. So that's it friends. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comment section. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Rock on, take care, I'll talk to you guys soon.